Hey guys, John here. In my last video, you guys let me know that you wanted to see a little bit about the Sea Dew Switch. So, in this video, we're going to do a full walk around of it and also tell you my intentions for this boat. All right, so we'll start out with one of the funniest comments that I got, I guess, is where's the rest of the boat? So, this thing is actually only 13 feet long. So, tiny little boat. Sea Dew Switch does them in 13, 18, and 21 feet. So, I elected to go with the 13 foot, which is their compact model, but this one is a little bit more souped up. This one is actually the Sport and it has 100 70 horsepower Rotex motor. So this one comes in right under 2,300 pounds or so. This is also a 2023 model and the color is called Coral Blast. And just like the Solar Octane Tundra, it's not really gonna come out that good on camera, but just imagine when I have the Solar Octane Tundra, oh my God, they're gonna look so good together. So the Bimini up top, it pretty much covers the whole top of this boat. The whole purchase came with the trailer as well. So everything comes together from sea -Doo. You get the trailer and stuff and this one's the only options it really has is the Bimini which I believe comes with the Sport Compact and then this one also has the Garmin system too so the trailer is actually pretty nice it's all galvanized which is cool too it's not a painted trailer and it has lights everywhere everything came and done up and you have a nice little step to get up to the front right here it's a standard two inch ball the pin actually worked perfectly with the tundra right there but as you can see from the bottom it is more of like a tri-tune setup so these tunes on the outside they actually fill up with water to help counterbalance the switch which is pretty cool fills up with water gets water out to really help it carve and then your center uh, pontoon right here is a bit deeper to really help this thing have an honestly really good center of gravity and a great pivoting point too from when you're carving and turning really hard in the water and then with the front of this thing it's pretty cool because it is short and you can actually see through the plastic right here so basically everything on this switch is replaceable so if someone runs into something like into a dock or anything like that most of these panels the whole thing it's all modular and it's all replaceable which is cool so like on a normal pontoon boat because this is technically like a pontoon it's a tri-tune if you were to damage a pontoon you'd most likely have to replace the whole pontoon or get some dent repair or something to really fix that pontoon but coming around it you can see 170 horsepower this thing scoots it needs about 10 hours on it for the full ECU to fully unlock. So right now it's topping out at around 25, 28 miles an hour. But this thing I've seen on YouTube, people maxing it out at around 40-ish miles an hour. So 13 foot, 170 horsepower motor, super light. It will get up and go. So this thing basically is an inboard motor and it has the Rotex motor from their sea -Dews and it sits inside of it. But what's super cool about it is it does plane out really well and then it also has has the coupling device to easily put it into reverse or you could kind of use it as a brake and this thing turns on a dime and it is really really fun to uh, ride of course it's cold right now where i'm at in destin and i did want to take it out on the water today to really show you guys it but we're going to most likely try to fit it into the garage and uh, spoiler alert it's not looking promising you do have a little thing back here to uh, ski around the 13 model 13 foot model does not come with a uh swimming deck back here and you do have the ladder here which kind of to access the back so you have the ladder back here but since this model is so short and the seats sit right back here there's kind of no good ingress to get into it egress is super simple when you park like on a sandbar or something just hop out the front but to try to climb back into it there's no ladder in the front the only ladder is back here with the seat so so climbing up inside this is a five person boat or 705 pounds but you have a kind of little lounge area right here it comes with some floor mats too again super modular and the reason why they call it the switch is because each of these areas where you see these little yellow tabs right here you could literally pick that seat up like put the seat maybe right here basically anywhere where you see these little link devices is what they call it is you can move stuff around so 13 foot boat pretty good amount of room you have the captain's chair right here flip it up you can sit up a little bit higher and then you have two cup holder things back here which is nice tons of storage for a little boat just every single seat has storage under it which is nice freaking pine needles in it already but the coolest thing is right here basically at the center cockpit area so it does not have a traditional steering wheel it has handlebars like typical sea handlebars so your throttle is right here 
the reverse throttle is right here, also neutral. This thing has cruise control. Here's all your trims. And then we got some, we got the horn down here, all the lights for it too, your key over there, and uh, the bilge pumps and stuff. So a bunch of cool goodies on a honestly relatively inexpensive boat. The Bimini is super easy to put up. It just clicks into place, but the boat is just so much fun and a decent amount of room too for it being such a light, small boat. So what's my plans for the boat other than my HOA hating me for having it in my driveways for freaking four days, dude, I hate HOAs. But anyways, um, the plan for this boat is to obviously enjoy it ourselves, my wife and I, dogs, friends, all that stuff out on our waters here in Destin, but gonna rent it. I'm gonna rent it out hourly. There's a couple boat sites out there and just kind of like a little side hustle thing. I, I feel like the sea switch is like a Tesla on Turo kind of. So anyone on boat setter or whatever it is can give you, can rent out a pontoon boat. Cool, it's a pontoon boat, whatever. This is something cool, it's something different. You got handlebars right there. Uh, instead of a steering wheel, this thing can turn on a dime like we were in a tiny little canal and it just like 360'd itself real quick. It's a, uh, it's, it's a ripper, like it carves super good too. So I think that this thing is kind of like a uh, novelty item to maybe rent out for 75 bucks, 100 bucks an hour or something like that. You rent it out for one day for five hours, more than covers the actual boat payment. Do that a couple times a month and it starts to cash flow pretty well. Hopefully making it worth all the uh, <laughs> all the pain that I'm gonna have to go through to either put it into the garage or get a storage unit for it, unfortunately, because the main thing that is not probably gonna fit is the Bimini right here, just because I was not accounting for that trailer, then boat on top of it, all the stuff on top of that, and my garage itself is only a seven foot garage. It being a small boat too, you actually have a good amount of storage, which is nice. So this whole ski locker area, it's gonna look like there's not a lot in it, but we have the whole safety kit, life vest, everything there. You got a little rower right here in case the power cuts out on you or your engine dies. And then speaking of the engine, under these four compartments too, super easy access, you have the Rotax motor, 170 horsepower. They do have a Model 2 that's I believe 230 horsepower with a supercharged uh, motor. And that's obviously for the bigger ones, the 18 foot and the 21 foot. Well guys, that's it on the switch. I just wanted to show it for those of you that wanted to see it. If you haven't seen the video yet of the Tundra towing the switch with its MPGs that I got, which was not the best. I will leave that video up in the iCard up above for you guys, and I will catch you all in the next video. All right, see you later.